Uh, and if the current mayor, Lauren McLean, is watching us right now, we're trying to get a hold of her press people. We would love to know what she said to President Biden uh, as he departed from Air Force One. She got to spend at least like maybe a couple of minutes Two talking minutes, with him yeah. about something. We're assuming maybe her climate change uh, program and initiative here for the city of trees, which is a big part of the president's mm -hmm. visit. Also, climate change and global warming and the mayor, Mayor McLean, was going to present him with a painting of the Boise foothills, mm -hmm. kind of in that same vein about you know, nature yeah. and uh, clean environment. Our Joe Paris was there at NIFSI, inside NIFSI, as the president got to tour the facilities. Joe, walk us through what happened on the inside. Yeah, and actually I can tell you, I believe the president is actually just wrapping up in the building behind me right now. A short time ago, they cleared out the national and local press pool. The national press pool is headed over uh, back to Air Force One area. Of course, the, the local press pool, they said you're free to go. So we won't be going back uh, to California with them, of course. But uh, the president was just uh, the last we saw him right before we left. He was speaking with Governor Brad Little as well as some NIFSI officials. And they're actually just walking the governor through some of the equipment that the wildland firefighters use. Uh, a few minutes before that, they actually took the president out onto the tarmac to show him some of the uh, the firefighter vehicles that they use out on wildland firefighters. Of course, they're not the fire trucks that look like the normal fire trucks you may see around the city of Boise, but the ones out that you may see in the foothills, uh, they're, they're built to do a lot of different jobs. And some of the, the hot shots, the smoke jumpers were out on the tarmac talking to the president about what they do with the fire trucks and how they're different. Um, the entire thing kind of flew by, to be honest to me. Um, we, we got here pretty early this morning and we went through some security security checkpoints. I know that um, I'm pointing to an area you can't see off camera, but the security checkpoints, as I know, reported, had a lot of people here. I've heard a lot of different estimates of how many people are actually here. Um, and to be frank, most of them were here to criticize the president. Um, I've heard anywhere from several hundred to several thousand. When I drove here early this morning, it looked like maybe several hundred, but I understand a lot of people started coming in um, after I got inside. Now, after the press pool was actually uh, put into a secure location, we waited and watched as Air Force One came down and landed. And of course, it taxied, which was a lot of excitement for the people here. A lot of people had their phones out taking pictures uh, to see Air Force One landing at the Boise Airport, something we haven't seen in quite some time. From there, though, we did see uh, a press briefing with uh, some NIFSI leaders as well as the president sitting right next to him was Governor Brad Little. They talked a lot about climate change. They talked a lot about wildfires and uh, really the damage that has been done attributed to climate change. Uh, there's been a lot of questions over the last several weeks is what is the Biden administration going to propose on their, their climate initiative on fighting back against these wildfires. So we heard some ideas from the president this afternoon. We'll get into some of the, the details on that later in our newscast. Something that I found interesting though, as Governor Little was talking to the president about his thoughts on wildfires wildland management and wildfires and kind of what we see here in the state of Idaho. Uh, President Biden was taking notes. He was writing down the thoughts that Governor Little was sharing with him. So it'll be interesting to see when we do get to a plan of action, if any of the insight from Governor Little is is included in that plan. Uh, something I also wanted to touch on a fun little story. I don't know if you guys have talked about it yet. Um, uh, the president was talking about the state of Idaho. He thought it was a beautiful place. And he said that as a young man, he actually thought about moving to the state of Idaho because of how beautiful and great it is out on this side of the country. He said that he actually even had a job interview with Boise Cascade. Clearly that didn't work out for him, but he did go on to be <laughs> the United States president. So one thing leads to another thing. Yeah. Uh